right, testing, testing, testing. Hello and welcome to the Fortnightly Frontier, Season 6, Episode 2. The edition where Maya almost completely screws up the intro because he forgot to unmute Darge and undeafen himself as well. Welcome. How you doing, Darge? Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm pissed. Why? Because Carrick things. That's oh, why. because Carrick things. Oh, man. I thought you were yeah. going to be pissed because other reasons. No, no. It's just because Carrick things, you know, as you, as per the huge. But well, I'm more pissed with the um, community's overall response. Um, I am muted. Hmm. One second. I shall I fix we're, that. We're going to have to. There you go. You're now un unbroken. I'm sorry. Am I? You are now. I just Am did I? It. I mean, I mean, if you want to ask that kind of question, who knows? I mean, like, <laughs> are you, are you really, mm. I don't know, pray on it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> but yeah, so you were right. So uh, CIG in their uh, most recent uh, ship shape, they, they actually talked a heck of a lot about the Carrick and they revealed um, what they've been working on for quite some time and uh, how things have changed from... I guess what it used to be while they were working on it um, to what it is right now. Actually, maybe I should also repeat what I said because chat didn't hear and okay. it's not going to get recorded. Um, you were asking me how I was and I said I'm pissed. Oh, yes. Because Carrick things. Uh, but I'm um, actually more pissed uh, because of the general response of uh, the community in regards to the... Uh, Re well, it's not even a rework. It's the first steps towards actual work yeah. on the Carrick. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean, um, uh, until just last week, all we had about the Carrick was literally just concept, art, and dreams. Yep. And they yep. finally put those dreams into uh, into motion. And I, I, I think it's one of those things where everybody kind of has their idea of what the Carrick, which um, we have the concept art, Thank you, yep. Nir Admire. Um, the concept yep. art for uh, over there, um, you know, like um, this with is images literally, like this. Mm -hmm. literally, this is all we had. Yeah. Apart from a couple of orthogonal views of the, um, um, you know, just front, side, and top. This yeah. is literally all we had, and the community clings on to these six images with such fervor and fanaticism that it's mind-boggling. Yeah. It really is. And uh, ex I guess it's because, well, when you have an image like this, you see it, you see like, oh, oh the concept art and you're like, uh, you, you kind of like dream, uh, have your own kind of like uh, dream about what it's going to be in the end, you mm. know, like uh, because you don't have uh, things moving, that kind of thing. And you only have very few limited images like this. You kind of in your mind kind of make it bigger than what it should be. Sure. In a, in a sense, it's the perfect me metaphor for what's, for what Star Citizen is. You know, you we get just so far, well, up until, you know, the recent, quite recently, we only got just a few glimpses of what it could be in the grand scheme of things. Quite polished, but very limited. Yeah. Um, and it's the same thing here. Um, you know, these images look so good because they are very spick and span, very polished concept art meant to wow and, you know, be as good as they can be from a presentation point. Yeah. Um, uh, so they have proper texturing, they have proper shading, proper lighting, proper backgrounds. Okay, maybe this one not because it's just on a flat piece of surface, but, you know, this one does. This one is on a planet where before we had planets. Yeah, that's very um, true. And the new stuff they showed was basically just very low-poly stuff in, in a top-down view in, you know, no textures, no nothing. Uh, yeah, you're right. I mean, and so we have the images here from last week. You know, we have... Uh, old versus new basically mm. and the old that we see here are images we've never actually even seen before you know these are images of uh you know they, they were working on it and they were like hmm maybe we've gone a bit too far here let's scale <laughs> it back and make it a little bit more like how it was supposed to be back when 
it was initially kind of like, you know, devised, kind of like bring it back actually to the concept art. And sure. uh, I think that really the, the, the big kind of uh, knee jerk reaction or backlash to the designs is the fact that people were like, oh, so we, we, we could have had it bigger. That is also one of the things that I that pisses me off so much. It's like these people, and I'm trying to use the word properly. Um, I've never heard that word be used with such kind of like just disgust. Condescension. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they, they, they seem like they seem to behave as if they are entitled to the ship getting bigger in the development pipeline. Would it? compared to what it was as a concept because the concept was 123 meters yeah and it grew to 180 as it's you know noted by the um um the footnotes in this little presentation mm. um and then they shrunk it down to 125 meters and the reasons they they uh, put forth for it are perfectly valid yeah and they don't bother me at all and they don't bother me either. I mean, I think you sent me an image, and sadly, sadly, I totally forgot to uh, to add it to our list of things. But I can find it later. But I think mm -hmm. you were the one who actually, uh, way back yeah. when this uh, ship was initially like uh, conceptualized, you compared it to the Firefly, and the Firefly yeah. is actually two meters or so shorter than the current size that we're going to be getting. And that ship was used for an entire series. Something uh, along those lines, yeah. Hmm. It had a cr had a crew of five. Hold on, we had Mal, uh, Zoe, Wash, Jane, uh, and Kaylee. And while the doctor was supposed sort of like the ship medic was, they were in the passenger area. So yeah. Simon, River, uh, Shepard. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're yep. cl there's clearly room in this ship for activities. There's room. Yeah. There's room. Yeah, and that ha <laughs> they, that had you know the proper bridge. They had they had living quarters. Had a communal um, um, sitting area with kitchen, and it had uh, the engine room. Um, w not counting like a big portion of the ship being just the engine, not accessible to anyone from the inside. And then it had a huge cargo area, and the loading dock, and you know all the things. Yeah. I mean, uh, we didn't, we don't, uh, in engine, we don't have too many, like, uh, video, uh, um, too much footage of the character itself, but we have nope. this. And I think another thing that people, I guess, were kind of upset about, um, and I guess one of the main changes between this and the concept art is the fact that the bridge is no longer multi tiered. It's only got. Uh, oh, it is. Um, it has it is multi tiered. Like an upper it has floor a, kind it of thing. has an upper and a lower, lower floor. Yep, it does. Is, is it as uh, high as it was in the concept art, though? Because that mm. I think somebody mentioned it before. I mean, that as one of their reasons for being upset. I mean, that and the um, the landing gear. Those are the two main changes, apart from. The, oh yeah, yeah. The la the landing gear can be debated. They put forth good argument. One is culling, for yeah. performance reasons, and the other is just you know I kind of liked the elongated sort of nacelle sh shape language it provided. Yeah. But I could live without it. Yeah, really. so they, they could just they could just make those little shields have you know elongated pieces going backwards and have them there just always. Why yeah. not? But another thing, mm -hmm. another thing, we've seen this the purple model that we see here. This is the one eighty meter model. It is. Yes, it is. And one. These concept images that we saw before, mm -hmm. made so expertly by Chris Olivia and Gurmag Basin, date back to, I almost said 1994, but that would be a bit too long. <laughs> no, it's 2014. That's, that's still four years. Yeah. And in game development terms, that's forever. And I know, because I counted. Uh... But going back then, we had no design guides. We had no Anvil design language guide that it should be adhered to. Mm. And uh, actual working interiors and exteriors in the same mesh were a hope and a dream somewhere off in the future. We have that now. So all the ships 
that have to be redone have to be done this way. So some shapes will change and some sizes will change as, um, uh, as a consequence of that. But th this is not that way. The f not even close to the final shape because there is an established anvil design language that will have to be applied to this. Yeah, and um, this was actually mentioned in the um, their RTV about uh, about all this. Um, Did you forget to make this one loop? Um, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me uh, double check that real quick for you. Uh, no, it is looping. It's just a very long video. It shouldn't be. There you go. But all right, okay, cool. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I just forgot to play. I guess. Um, but yeah, so as you mentioned in the RTV, um, uh, their, I guess their process of making ships has changed considerably from uh, where it was before. Um, before they just made the art for the ship and mm. then they then worried about what goes into it afterwards. And I remember, uh, was it like um, the week before during the IAE stuff where Chris Smith was like, um, yeah, so when I conceptualized the 300 series, I made that for Chris and it looked really cool. And then Chris was like, Where's the bed? You know, because they hadn't properly like thought out the interior yet. Um, and uh, with uh, ship, and so you know, kind of ram it inside, and that's what we have to have this rework. And mm. um, uh, I guess with uh, ships like the Carrick, where we just got the uh, got the concept art for it, uh, they didn't think about the interior too much. It's kind of like a, a latter thing. Whereas uh, nowadays, when they make uh, concept art for anything, or when they make concept pictures to the uh, to, to I guess the fans and the backers. Um, the ship, it not only it has pictures, but it has a wireframe and it's all properly laid out, which allows the teams to then just go into it and get, continue and, and make the ship because all that mm. legwork had been done before. Whereas with yep. images like the Carrick, there was no... Well, the Carrick does have a 3D model in the viewfinder. And if you go into like the ship viewers and fleet viewers and stuff like that, you can put it in. Yeah. But other than the uh, the bridge, there's no functioning interior at all. No. Yeah. Um, um, bup, bup, bup. I was gonna say, uh, yeah, and and back then, mm -hmm. um, they so they had the three fifteen P, which was the you know short term one person exploration vessel, and even there they forget forgot the bed, and yeah. for the Carrick they just said, okay, so this is a long term uh, exploration vessel for several people, um, mm. so just make it ten times longer than the three hundred, fine. Yeah. And they did without any sort of um, co consideration for what has to go inside and where it has to go. Sure, the Pisces has a little hatch for it, mm -hmm. but it was basically just, yeah, sure, the ship will go in here and that's it. No, where it will be stored, how you'll get to the um, uh, storage area for the ship uh, and uh, so those things, you know, things that matter. Yeah. I mean but now they now they do. Um the hammerhead was made from the ground up with those considerations in mind. Yeah. Um what else? The um the reclaimer was made from the ground up. Prob probably made with the, they made the interior and then they put the shell over it and then they moved the interior about a bit so it looked cool. Yeah. But, you, you know, living quarters uh, and working spaces are, you know, the key right now when it yeah. comes to designing ships. And this, somebody mm. in chat, who was it? Shive, yeah. Make landing gears great again. <laughs> See, this is, I, I made, I, I'm mirrored too. I made this comparison just for people who complain about the landing gears because it's a big ship it's a big ship you won't be landing it that much no I mean, most it, people most people will be leaving it in orbit and taking the snub fighter down or something along those lines so for the most part landing gear will remain retracted and it will yeah. look like that yeah i mean and another i guess uh like thing about the, the change in size and why I'm not too upset about it personally, even though I don't own a Carrick, so I guess I have no stake in it. But um, mm. the ship isn't big just for the sake of being big. 
Um, other considerations that go into it and go into the size of the ship, of course, are to do with the components that go into the ship as well. And um, a lot of these components that you uh, will be accessible from the inside for maintenance as well as, of course, outside. And what you don't want is a case where your ship is so big that to go repairing something, you have to make a long trek for it and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Having it smaller, more compact means that you'll be able to access it more and allow the, the, you know, the engineering gameplay mm -hmm. loop to be a little bit better as right. well. You know, like uh, once they start to uh, fill all these ships out with the, with the components, it'll start to be a case of, okay, wow, there's so much empty space here. What could we put here? I mean, like, uh, I guess there's a lot more consideration that goes into a building a ship like this than I suppose goes into building a ship in things. I'm not even going to say Elite Dangerous because Elite Dangerous uh, positions all the components the way they should do when you're targeting them. But I guess in other games that uh, have vehicles and stuff where you only see the exterior of it, you have to worry about the interior too much. Mm. Mm. Uh, and it's but not just that like so you're chilling out on the bridge or maybe in the communal area and suddenly your ship is on fire and your one of you one of your jobs um uh, on the ship is turret operator yeah like how long is it going to get you to get to the turret from the bridge all the way down the hallway to like the two down two thirds of the ship and then 90 degrees and it's like it's like 20 25 meters just to get from the center axis of the ship to the to the turret it's it's the smaller you can make those things the better in eventually yeah yeah i mean there is one thing though hmm. one word dachshund dachshund yeah or duckle as it is actually properly known um, sausage dog Sausage what do you think dog. about the landing gear of this? That meme made me laugh so so hard. I'll d I'll see if I can find it. Actually, it's it is it is actually it is actually quite funny. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure, it kind of does look like it, but it's still it's still a matter of redesign, poss poss possible possible redesigns. Yeah, I mean, I guess it makes sense. I mean, it, I mean, like a, 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 a these a dog. are the first days of white box. Yeah, but I mean, everything like, will change. A lot of technology mimics like real life and stuff, and a, you know, mm. a, a dog stands and sits the way it does because you know, like it, it helps them. You know, you know, it's stable. It's yeah. comfortable. Exactly. You know, like a, you, you, it, it, it's for function. It helps them stabilize themselves and stuff. It makes sense, I guess, for the shape of the ship that it is. In a also, way. can you can you just imagine if people mm. get their hands on this mo model, the animation possibilities? Like you could make this thing run in a sort of animation thing instead of um, fly around and land. Just mm -hmm. go. Yeah, I mean, like one of the main reasons uh, that uh, they mentioned for having the uh the ship the way it is with the landing gear is because having really big really la really i guess busy landing gear is very um like a resource expensive and the more work that they put into a la mm -hmm. into landing gears the less kind of like a uh, work can be uh available on that asset i see the ship as an asset yeah. uh for you know like um they the antenna, talk about yeah. they mm -hmm. use very um economic terms when it comes to this they have a polygon budget and um landing gears are expensive in yeah. that terms in those mm. terms so if they can retract them and make them uh, uh and cull them so they're no longer part of the overall geometry that needs to be rendered all the time mm -hmm. they can spend more on making all the other greebles and doobly doos and thing thing I'm call it's you know yeah. nicer and prettier. Oh, have you uh have you seen this meme? I mean I, I feel bad for CIG because no matter what they do with anything that they do, they there are always people who I guess knee jerk to the extreme. But this meme cracked me up so hard. This one right here. <laughs> Saw that. Saw that. Oh man. It's ridiculous. Like, uh, some people are just so salty. <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, but hey, what can you do? Uh, just laugh and and hope that once um, the gray box um, modelers are done with it, um, mm. you can just go to those people and say, I told you so. Because yeah. even here, even, even like this, I... I'm really liking it. 
it, um, it's a really cool ship. I mean, it's mm -hmm. longer than the Hammerhead. I mean, and it the is. Hammerhead is, uh, I mean, the Hammerhead is big, but at the same time, it uh, the way it's shaped in like that figure eight kind of thing, a lot of space is, and, and you know, it has that negative space hole in the middle as well. Mm -hmm. And the fact that it's really just tunnels and stuff for uh, for turrets, there's not really much going for it, but I mean, like, it's it's big. This ship is as big as that, but it has, like, purpose-built rooms for different things. It's going to feel huge, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's gonna feel... Well, it, it's not gonna feel. It is massive. I mean... It is massive, and I'm yeah, so it, looking forward to it. Like, the interior is really nicely done. It's like this open plan multi-tiered with hallways you know going like this and get the main room like this and one over here and it's just and can i'm trying to hint at you switching to the interior um um the, the interior i don't have an in well i mean you mean this all right well, I did send you another one, but okay, sure, yeah, this one. Um, like the um the the medical bay uh, and the way the corridors are set out is just it's so nicely done, and even in gray box, it it's got like six polygons, and it still looks so nice. Yeah, I'm sad I don't have that video. I, I honestly, I I didn't I didn't see it. Oh, no. We're so close to being professional. But uh, yeah. <laughs> next time. Next time. Tune in next time to see if Dodge and Maya have all the media. <laughs> mm, and you know what? If mm. you're watching this on YouTube, you can rejoice because I just put it there. Did he though? I did. <laughs> Shit, all right. Now I, have, now I actually have to remember. Now, to now you have to remember to put it there. Exactly. <laughs> oh, man. No. But. Yeah. Um, and. Yeah, um, and but the most, the best thing about it, it's actually being worked on, and yeah, people hate it. <laughs> uh, I th I think disco is cursing us, well maybe not us specifically, but the community under his breath. Oh, definitely. Oh, definitely. So much, right? All now. the time. All the time. It, it's it's funny though. I mean, like. Uh... It is what it is. I mean, there's so many memes for it, though. But before I, I, I go scouring the, uh, the the Reddit for memes and stuff, always they'll talk about that character and stuff. I just wanted to go back to this post that you made back in 2015, like three years ago now. Um, mm -hmm. And it's uh, a Firefly and uh, Carrick comparison. And uh, I, mm -hmm. I think that... Well, if, you're, if, you're, if you're planning on s squeezing it in there, it's not going to be very visible. Though. Why not? I mean, like, I'm going to do this, and then it's going to show right. you the fire... I mean, the, the Carrick. And mm -hmm. then I was just going to do that, and that's the Firefly. Oh, yep. Yeah. And I made these in a one-to-one -one, um, um, size ratio. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think the Firefly is like 116 meters long, and this concert was 123. Um, but yeah, other than the slight, you know, curvier shapes and the, um, the sort of neck and head um, shape of the Firefly, it's the exact same thing. And yeah. the new one, the new Carrick's chunkier, so it looks even more like it. Can you imagine if they actually made a ship that looked like the Carrick? I mean, I mean, the, the, not the Carrick, the uh, the Firefly. I don't know about you. I mean, sure, the 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 show is cool and all, but this is an ugly ship. <laughs> this is an ugly it, ship. I th I can I think I can see Misk making it. It looks like a really early Misk ship. It really looks early, like, like a like a twenty sixth century, twenty seventh century, or maybe even older. Yeah, Misk it looks ship. like somebody owned a misc ship, and they kept landing really badly. Like as they landed, they kept smacking the front of it, and so they just kind of like just said screw it and repaired it that way. So it it looks like uh it looks like misc meets Drake. It it's weird. Mm. A dog with but, wings, as Diddler says in chat. <laughs> mm, um, and it it oh. How long? How old is Firefly? Was it? Did it come out? Did it come out in two thousand one or something like that? I think it, something like that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like uh, though with Firefly, I mean, it, it is is kind of the way it's set. They they are allowed to do a lot of things like this, like kind of make it more like a western because it's all about like the fringe planets and the fringe mm. of space, and so it's like primitive future, and so it's basically wild west. It, it's sure. It's really cool. Well, Star Citizen is primitive, primitive future too, because it is almost exactly World War Two in the third right. century. Yeah, it, it, it's, uh, it's also it was September twentieth, two thousand two. 
I wouldn't I say Star remember. Citizen's oh, 2012, right? You said 2002. Oh, sorry, Far Fly. Yeah, right. Okay. So yeah, I, back back then it. Hmm. No, but even back then it wasn't the most uh, fancy dancy future futurism futuristic who, that um, we could have imagined. I mean, Star Trek, the Federation ships were all nice, clean, curvy shapes. This is like you said, it's more of a um, approachable design, uh, cheap. Um, and there's there's even a scene um, in the episode Armistice Reynolds when they are. Uh, they're the target of of the scrap um, enterprise that you know just captures um, ships, uh, kills everybody on board, and then sells the ships onwards. And it was like it's a you know it, it's a bunch of crap, but you put that crap together and you got yourself a firefly. You know the thing will run forever if you got a mechanic that's half awake. Yeah, so like- it, it's sort of like very low base engineering made to last nothing yeah. fancy and n- neither firefly or star citizen as you say are kind of like star trek where it's a u- utopian future i guess where mm. um I, the, you know like a uh, human development isn't uh truncated if you know what i mean like uh, it isn't slowed down by wars and oppression and all that kind of stuff it's uh i mean star trek is like humanity has become so perfect we want to share our perfection with the rest of the universe but not be evil about it. It's kind of like really far fetched. Whereas with like star, um, with yeah, uh, this is definitely not humans. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it's we're like a... we're not that lotty dog goody gumdrops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. So yeah, I guess that's really influenced uh, the design of the ships as well. Um. The Carrick is is the Carrick is not Aegis, is it? It's Anvil, right? It's Anvil. Yes. Yeah. So, so you have you have the Hornet Mark II, which still ninety percent of the people don't know it's a Mark II. It's not just the F seven A, the military version of the normal Hornet. Yeah. Uh, there are no civilian versions of the Mark II Hornet, and there is no military version of the Mark One Hornet available, or in game at all. Um, there used to be, but I think once when they remade the Hornet, the Mark One Hornet for what we have now, they dropped the F7A and made the Mark II, which I think is a Squadron 42 ship. Okay. Uh, so we have that. Mm. We have the new Arrow. We have, um, the Gladiator. Mm-hmm. And the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the, um, the Turtle. Right. Um, whatever the ter- it's called, the, ter- the, ter- the terrapin. The terrapin. Yes, <laughs> I was going to say the, the turtle. It. Uh, yes, the terrapin. <laughs> the, 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 the terrapin. Um, yeah, and um, you know those, uh, they have done a design language for those, and it's that is going to have to be applied to the Carrick because in 2014 it just says, yeah, sure, it looks like a Carrick. You know, it looks like an anvil ship. It mm. has, you know, it's pointy. It has the circular circular element in the middle. Yeah. And it uh, has guns, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, again, I don't think that they had actually developed uh, um, the design kind of like uh, language for the uh, for Anvil by, at this point. Oh, of course not. No. Yeah. No. So I, which I, which I, is I, which is why the new uh, white box looks nothing like uh, the final ship will eventually, and it and the the new ship. Uh, will look almost well not almost but it Mm. will at least the small designs the main shape sure they will keep but the small designs and the uh the details will be very different to the original concepts so there is one feature about this ship actually like now that you mention it that uh Mm. that strikes me as being very hallmark of a different manufacturer in star citizen can you guess what it is no it is not is it not Aegis? No, it is not Aegis at all. No, 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 no. It, it um, hmm. I'm trying to think of puns, but uh, sadly, I haven't had my breakfast, so I can't strut my stuff. Ah, you're talking about RSI. Yeah, the canopy uh. of this ship is incredibly constellation-like. Sure. It looks like an angry yeah. constellation. It always has to me. <laughs> <laughs> but the like normal an, I, one I, I only have the Aquila so mm. it's, the Aquila is actually quite different but yeah, yeah. The, the normal constellations all the normals the, all the other constellations have a different uh, yeah. canopy to them yeah it looks pointy, like a thorny strutty. angry constellation 
with mm. the old freelancer entrance at the front, as you can see up there. So I don't even know if, I don't even know if that's gonna be a, a thing. You know what I mean? Mm. Well, the um, the ramp. No, the ramp. No, the ramp is. I think I think that's staying because the ship is as as big as it is, and it and it has that. Yeah. Um. But it the old freelancer was basically just steps up one of the feet. Uh, the mm-hmm. front foot, but look look how tiny the people are compared to that. It's a big yeah. ramp to load I mean, your uh, rover. You, you into... say look at the feet, but I mean this is concept. I remember the uh, <laughs> sadly did, this, did it say look at the feet? I thought look it, at yeah. the people. Oh right, I thought you said look at this like the the struts because like it's much lower on the ground now than it used to be. Look mm. how look how low it is here, which is in, good. Yeah, but in the concept art, it's it's ginormous. You know, like yeah. uh, it's precarious, but yeah. because um, of this, though, the sorry. ramp will be at a lower angle, mm. uh, lower angle, and you won't crash when you're trying to load your cyclone or your Lynx rover into it because um, it'll be a much easier transition. Right, that like actually it is makes now sense with the Valkyrie and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean that actually makes sense, and honestly, mm. now to me, like if anybody is complaining about the struts changing, this is actually a good reason for it to. Because the legs, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, also lower center of gravity. You uh, when you're landed, you want the lower center of gravity to be lower, otherwise, um, you may topple over. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to like uh, be hit by a stiff wind in Crusader, and mm-hmm. that'd be the or- end of it. Or not, or not just that. Maybe just have a bit of a rough landing, and instead of just landing and settling, you just go. Yeah, look at those legs. Just, just, if you were like uh, to land the way people do, like in Star Citizen right now, those struts will snap right off as well. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah. They will snap um, right off. Functionality wise, it's um, I I can completely agree with um the way they changed the landing gear. Looks wise. Sure, I can see the meme potential, and people have been um, embracing that. So maybe there's potential for a redesign there, uh, but it, it, eventually it has to be, at least in this regard, it has to be function over form, not the other mm. way around. So, um, as you may have uh, seen this um, in this uh, episode of Fortnite Frontier, we actually have chat from Twitch. And uh, I forgot to mention to them, if you do have any questions, guys, please just uh, preface them with square brackets and uh, and we'll get to them uh, when we can or as we can. Or um, if it's to do with what we're talking about, then we'll try and add you to the conversation as well. Um, I did find something, though, and I apologize to anybody who hasn't seen it yet because you will never be able to unsee it. But, uh, yeah, check this out. <laughs> that reaction. <laughs> I also sent you an image in Discord. Uh, I can't click on that image because oh, otherwise sure. it'll mess up your camera. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, actually, I will. Mm, if you post it's, it in it's, chat, it's, then I'll be able to post. Yeah, it. sure. It's it. it's a um, it's a continuation. It's an evolution of this meme. <laughs> What's this? Uh, <laughs> action is evolving. <laughs> oh, okay, man. how how do I do this? Because I have Discord on this computer and have chat on this computer. I just wanted. I just did. I just did. Click, copy link, and I moved my hand to the other com- to keyboard and went. Wait, this is not gonna work. <laughs> but okay, uh, as a visual, as a mental note, as a mental mm-hmm. image, it is a continuation of that image. But they took the legs from the um from the duckle, not a duckson. It's a duckle sausage and- dog. And it and they just replaced the landing gear with the legs. Um. Oh, yeah. I, I see the preview underneath your camera. It's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it worked so well. Yeah. Is that on Reddit sure. or no? It. Uh, Shive wanted to post it in chat. If somebody permits uh, but him, he then needs we can. permission. He was asking for permission. Yeah. I don't have. I don't have permission. Permissions. Um. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's hop back this that way we can do it smoothly mm. but yeah so while you do that um i suppose i should entertain the good folk that are still continuing to listen at this point even though i don't see why they should um <laughs> <laughs> all right Ooh, and uh i found it no need for that 
entertainment stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> there it is. Um, that is amazing. That is actually ridiculous because it actually mm. doesn't look too different at all from... Uh, it doesn't. No, and you, you can just imagine this thing running around the uh, forest biome on Hurston. <laughs> chasing can you imagine if it properly, like... Yeah. <laughs> that'd be ridiculous. That would be actually just... Oh, man. Mm. Um... So we actually do have a question in uh, from Big JR who asks. Oh, we already have a question. We do. He asks them, "What do you want more in the verse right now? More mechanics such as salvage, or more content such as locations, missions, ships, etc." I'll let you right. answer that one first. Sure. Um, for me, it's mechanics. Mecha um, yeah, mechanics. Yeah, because we have right now uh, for. Um, the state of the game, we mm -hmm. have we already have way too much space, and it's it needs to be um, filled in. So mission givers, um, fleshed out locations. I suppose it's part of the other option, but I'm taking it from that option and putting it into mine because you know for delivery stuff and for um, for missions you need. You need more people in in more various locations than just um, Grim Hex and uh, Levski and Hurston, for now, um, mm. um, and that way it'll be it it's a cheaper way of adding of expanding the universe than just actually yeah. making it bigger physically by just putting more stuff because there's just so much to do. Mm. Another mechanic they could add is just add orbiting, and that will mess with people so much right now. Yeah. Because they're so used to um, Crusader and Hurston being on different sides uh, of the um, Stanton system. Mm. But if they actually make it and make, it, make the servers remember where they are, so over time the orbits change, and then at one point you will have the planets, you know, aligned. Yeah. I mean, so... And the transfer time is not going to be 15 minutes for the small shape. It'll, even for them, it'll be like a minute. Yeah. I can't wait to see orbital mechanics in general. I'm not even sure. I mean, I don't want to ever, like, uh, say... I'm not sure if CIG can do this because, like, CIG will most definitely do it. I mean, like, uh, smaller companies like uh, uh, Helion have managed to, to do um, orbital mechanics and stuff and they make it work in a really big way. Mm. Um, it's I guess it's just a matter of when, um, and that kind of thing. Yeah, because they've mentioned like a whole bunch of different kind of things about this, like uh, in terms of like uh, uh, not just spherical, but also like um, uh, oval. Um, what's what's the word? Eccentric uh, orbits and all that kind of stuff. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but you know, one of the building blocks for that is already in. Um, mm. when they were first creating the planets and the outposts and planet look and other locations on planets they needed to uh, create a way to translate the polar coordinate system that is in use um, to a linear one or you know the other way around so the moons and planets actually turned uh, and everything was synced up properly so it it actually you know it stayed perpendicular to the center in everything cuz you know this is not how you do things. Yeah, in a right. normal in a normal map, everything has um, is it a Euc Euclidean geometry? You know, when you have just x, y, and z coordinates and a center, and go for, you know from there. So you're a biologist, uh, not a mathematician. I understand. Um, yes, yeah, so uh, your your math knowledge went the way of your beard. No, nobody in chat said anything, and now people are going to realize, and they're going to be like, "Damn it, Darge! Like, I have to do this." <laughs> oh, I can just can't wait for chat to catch <laughs> but, up. Um. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Um. And that was one of the building blocks. So now they can um start moving. Um planets and moons on orbits on you know on these splines instead of just having w with i suppose not precision but ease of mathematics because mm. like, it's, it's a different way of calculating for me yeah. 
I think that, uh, well, okay, so mechanics like salvage, yeah, that's coming in, and that's cool. Um, when it comes in, it'll come in. I don't have a salvage ship, so it doesn't really matter much to me. Mm. You know, like, uh, the salvage ships, of course, are in, so there will be a thing, blah, 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 blah. Um, locations, we're kind of spoiled for locations at this point in time, so I don't really mind any, um, you know, if sure, we get sure. more locations, we will do. I mean, we're getting Arcorp, um, and we're getting uh, Lyri mm. uh, Lyria and Walla, its moons, very soon as well. So, like, um, you know, I'm not, I mean, I I'm anticipating it. I'm not hyped for it because I know it's coming and it's coming very soon. Um, it's just not, not a huge thing for me. I think that uh, fleshing out the things that we have right now with missions are more important mm. for me the biggest well, thing well, that when, I, I, when i said locations i didn't mean like moons and planets i meant like i'm reading um, Chaos another ta another uh, town yeah um on hurston or yeah. another you know maybe a, a an isolated building with a mission giver on yeah. Hurston. You know, just know. a location like that yeah no, i know i was reading out uh jr's question as i was uh going through it i wasn't uh mm -hmm. yeah uh but yeah for, for me I think that missions are really the biggest thing that I would <laughs> want. Like, uh, missions right now are in a kind of like wonky state. The game is in alpha, so it makes sense, that kind of thing. Whatever. Yes. Step one, fix mm. the missions. Yeah. So The gameplay I, loops. Yeah. So from from that, though, I mean, what kind of missions? I think Star Citizen is a multiplayer game. Sure, it's fun to do those box re recovery missions and that kind of thing. But I think that it would be so much so much better even if it's still those singular box missions if if i was in a party my friends in my party will also get that same shared mission that we can do together and sure i can scale up so instead of having one box it's having to fireman carry not fireman carry but having to um what's, what's that um the name for when you like you shuttle boxes like from one person to another to another like a fireman line or something um sure yeah um, I, I, i'm not sure what it's called but uh, yeah, so they could scale up those missions that way or just make it so that if I'm with somebody, he gets half of my pay for the missions. Mm -hmm. Things like that will just make playing Star Citizen with other people just that much more fun because right now you can go about, you know, making your own gameplay and all that kind of stuff. But um, with all the stuff that is laid down at this current point in time, if you're helping somebody else do a mission, for instance, you're only doing it to help them. You're getting nothing out of it. So, it, you know, there's no incentive. Um, so that's and really the big sure, thing I'm looking forward but to. But they, they could also then uh, start having various levels of difficulty for the missions, like for the FPS, uh, for the FPS stuff. Um, for instance, uh, I, you know, I right now I'm pretending to be the mission giver. I need this package to be extracted from this outpost, but it's currently under siege or it's occupied by the Nine Tails. Um, they don't have any air support, but their ground, um, they have quite a few numbers on the ground or inside the outpost. Mm. And this is, you know, this is going to be quite a dangerous mission. It's recommended you do not go alone. So, um, you know, it'll be a bigger payout, but it's almost, you know, if you're smart enough, you could probably, if you're stupid enough, you could probably go at it yourself, you know, and hope to get more money out of it. Mm -hmm. But you're, you know, just more likely to just fail. Uh, right. You know, but the smart thing to do would be, well, first fix the chat. Um, um, that's not broken. When they talk, it'll populate. It's just this scene yeah, is I, different from that. Oh, right, mm. right. Oh, right. Hmm. We'll have to think about how to fix that. Anyway, um, yeah, but the smart thing would be to um, uh, to grab, uh, you know, a couple of friends to go with you for for backup, you know, you know, for more firepower, um, yeah. and that way um, you, you you have a uh, you give the mission a larger chance of success. But you know, uh, instead of you ending up with all the money, mm -hmm. you actually do end up with the money. Yeah. Because you succeed in the mission. Yeah. And even if they don't manage to like uh, do it so you can do shared missions and stuff just yet, just being able to trade with other people so at the end of a journey or something, you can give them their cut or whatever you ah, think. Yeah. You know, it's, would instead be of worth having to finagle with a, uh, with a beacon. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um, so Tsukikizu asks, um, What's your favorite thing that you've come across in your hours of play, no matter how big or small? 
Do you want me to go first? Yeah, because that was mm. it. I'm a very visual person. Mm-hmm. So it's um it's been it's been the just the vistas for me. The vistas. Yeah. It has been not not the windows vistas, but you know all the 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 magnificent views, the sunsets. Even though the subreddit is, you know, a sunset screenshot repository by now. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. That if I had to pick one thing, it would it would be that landing somewhere, and you know just taking in uh, the beautiful views mm. that can be had in Star Citizen, even with our limited um number of unique um locations visually yeah. i mean if it's the my most favorite thing that i've come across as in just like randomly it's happened and i've seen it then i think that the the most favorite thing that i um i've come across in star citizen have to be all the little easter eggs that they put over time that you discover and that uh, nobody else has seen before. And right now, because we're in alpha, that kind of stuff doesn't really happen too much at the moment anymore. But, um, you know, back in the older builds when we had a much smaller playground and that kind of stuff, I say playground, like a much smaller universe to explore. You know, like I was the first person to explore this, I mean, to, to find this one wreck in the asteroid belt of Yella and post it on Reddit, you know, like mm. just discovering things like that is really cool. And I, 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 I can't wait for CIG to, I guess, add more things like that. I mean, like, I'm not looking for for it to be very common because, of course, if it, the more common it is, the less kind of, like, special the moment becomes and that kind of thing. I suppose mm. as the universe grows in size, um, so should the number of um, of Easter eggs. Yeah. Um, um, but, you know while maintaining the chance of finding one you know as low as it is or even lower yeah. and yeah has has gaha as one photographer to another i think we both are aware of the plague that is um random photos of sunsets and people thinking it's art i mean yeah, whether, it, whether it be real life or in game it's I mean... just <laughs> overdone but it's art, though. I mean, it's, it's easy to do, what, especially what, in Star Citizen, where any button press is, you know, like uh, an, uh, a, an art installation. But like, uh, I don't know. I mean, apart from being sick of it because I've seen so many, I mean. One thing one thing that redeems it in Star Citizen mm. is because they it's different moons and planets and yeah. they don't look like they do on Earth. You don't have a blue sky or, you know, with an orange tinge uh, and a red sun, you know, yeah. like every sunset, like every artsy sunset is supposed to be. You have a yellow sun and yellow sky on uh, on, on, on Aberdeen, or you have a black sky with a white sun on Selen, almost yeah. said Enceladus, and that's an actual r real life moon. Um, <laughs> Shaif says, you see, that's why you specialize in sunrises instead. <laughs> sunsets are so overrated but you see that's why i like hasgaha so much because like uh you know he's always looking to change things up and i guess it's kind of like a almost like a testament to like why people like his stuff so much because he's always looking for something different he's not like oh well people like sunsets let's uh let's flood the market with sunsets um he does some mm. really really cool stuff mm. and tsukikizu asks me specifically can you show us my best screen can you show you my best screenshot um Do you have it available no, that's the problem. I can't right now. I don't have it available and I don't really go out and uh, take screenshots. Yeah, so if, while Starch uh, did say he's a photographer, he means like he's a, um, in real life. He doesn't I'm really real do it too much uh, yeah. in game. Oh, I mean, man. I do when I wonder, when I do, when I do want to take a specific um, uh image of yeah. something but i don't just go out you know into the into into nature with my camera and hope for the best you know just just go and snap yeah uh, maybe i should uh you know now that the game is stable but mm. uh, I've, I've had so many really cool screenshots and so, some of them i just do because like uh i i press the screenshot button by accident somehow 
but I'm sad because I've I've lost so many of them. I keep forgetting to like back up my screenshots folder as I that is and... that is that is also a thing. I, yeah. uh, people like ha Mr. Hasgaha, um, they will go through great lengths uh, to take super high resolution, properly composed uh, screenshots, and they will then process them and save them somewhere where it's safe. My stuff just gets you know just stays in the screenshots folder, and when I reinstall the game it's gone yeah i mean like uh it's funny i mean sometimes um in star citizen like uh when people aren't looking i i just press the screenshot button as well and uh luckily i have this one here um this one was actually from when we were just driving around the moon like uh with, with dodge whaleman and zaya and oh, yeah, uh, i remember remember yeah. that they're not mm. posing. They were just standing there. But look at that. That's it's almost like an iconic picture. You I know, like, I uh, kind of did pose, but yeah, I I'll, have that. I have I have at ease map to five on my numpad. So, <laughs> so it, it it I didn't have to just think. I just quickly pressed it because I was just standing there anyway. Yeah, I was like, um, guys, hold still. He's like, okay, <laughs> I got this. I'm gonna yeah, press the exactly. button. Exactly. Oh, mm. man. But yeah. I mean, I have a few pictures, but like, uh, I don't really have anything like uh, cool or worth showing at this point. Um, if, if I do some digging, I might do, but I'm not going to like a uh, scrapbook and show you guys this random junk. <laughs> mm. Or will I? <laughs> or will you? No. Um, let me see. Are, are, are these all kosher is the problem? Um, oh yeah. One of the things mm -hmm. is, um, do we have... No, we not have. on Twitch, not on Twitch, on Discord or other uh, platforms. Uh, there is an avocado, em this is what I was I was looking for, an avocado emoji. Um, avocado, avocado, because mm -hmm. uh, Meyer and I are avocados, so we have access to the latest experimental builds, and there's a lot of screenshots to be done there because it's new stuff. But we can't show off those pictures no. ever. <laughs> no, ever. No. Yeah. If, no, even even when the NDA there. lifts and uh, the new uh, version of the game does um, reach players who are not bound by NDA, the stuff you've taken while the game was in the previous stage is still a no-no. Yeah. Um. So I actually, yeah, I sh can show you some pictures. I mean, like... Uh, not really very character related, but oh, you know, it's to do the question, like uh, so yeah. you know, just random pictures, like uh, that was that uh, that day we we're doing those things, um, like I took some screenshot at the uh, the IAE. So the IAE, for those who don't know, who missed it uh, a couple weeks ago, was like an in-game convention, uh, where um, they basically made a digital showroom where they um at, at like a, a, the spaceport location in game where they um, just put these giant spaceships in for people to walk around if they had never seen them before. And it was a really, mm. really cool thing. We talked about yeah. this in the last podcast, and uh, I did. really can't wait to see the next one. And Day like. was best day, even yeah. though there was no Karak. <laughs> yeah. Although although Origin did uh, wow me with the 300 series, but it's you know really that cool is a conversation yeah. that we already had. <laughs> I have a screenshot of falling through the world. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. It just, just does, you know, like uh, the game is an alpha and as pretty as it is, sometimes it's just goofy things will happen and you just wake up. Oh, yeah. Mm. This is me trying to take off in a reclaimer. Uh, it didn't oh. really end well. No, but, it's, yeah. it's, it's, I think that's from, from the patch where um, before they fixed that some landing pads have double gravity. Yeah, and of course, reclaimer is not gonna get off from oh, no. that. Oh no, it was it was really bad. Um, the train station. Um, this was actually from the last stream that we did. Well, I did. Um, are are just, you standing on one with one leg on top of the box? Yeah, standing one leg on top of the box. Um, hurtling to my. Death. It's actually called wallarding. <laughs> called whating? Wallarding. Um, in the old Top Gear. Uh, mm -hmm. Before Clarkson, uh, May, and Hammond days, there was a presenter called, I don't know his first name, but his last name was Wallard. And mm -hmm. then when he had his final uh, piece to camera, yeah. when he you know shared his final thoughts um, about the vehicle that he was presenting, he would always find somewhere to put his right leg on it. You okay. know, left, left leg on the ground, right leg somewhere on the car. And, mm -hmm. you know and splay himself like that and that that's um that's been known uh it has been um adopted as the wallarding 
It reminds me of that pose that they always do in cartoons, you know, like the hunter pose, like a uh, one foot in victory on top of whatever they've conquered. Oh yeah, yeah, that basically, yeah, yeah that's that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we got another question from Suki, who asks. Uh, we actually missed a question. Oh, we missed a question. Yes, um, from Shive Stream. Ooh, Shive. Okay, Shive asks, um, what's your thoughts on uh the blackout system and should it be removed? So the blackout system, uh, he's talking about the G forces system and like yes. uh. I, it's part I think of the that, actor state system right now. Yeah, so is, um, is basically, it, is it yet? Mm. if you like pitch up or pitch down as you're going, it's you know at speed, or if you accelerate too fast, your character can like uh, can red out or black out. And mm -hmm. I feel like it's a very important part of the game system. If you know what I mean, like it 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 it's there for immersion. Um, should mm -hmm. it affect you in such a way that it causes you to crash and that kind of stuff and impede on gameplay? I don't know. Maybe yes. Well. In G safe, no. If you turn G safe off, then mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I, th I, th I think the point of G safe sh is that whatever you do with the ship, you should not be allowed to pull as so many Gs that you black out or red out. That it the point. It's G safe. Mm. I mean, G unsafe. Good luck. Sure, but I mean, the thing about G safe though is that like, uh, yeah, you could do that, but. If if it impedes your your ship movement too much, then who's gonna want to fly in G safe? I feel like it, it should be a thing that that happens, if only for uh the fact that it it's immersive. But I don't yeah. think it should impede on gameplay too much. But uh, the the new the new flight system that's coming in three point five will address that a bit. Mm. Uh, I think the good pilots will will start to modulate the thruster power a bit. So they know exactly where the speed sweet spot is, so they don't black out, but they still maintain um, quite a lot of maneuverability in the ship. Because mm. every every ship, not just every ship, but you know, if when you upgrade it to a different power plant, a different engine, power plant maybe not, but engine uh, or thrusters, if you up, uh, up swap out those, it will behave differently. Like it'll have uh, maybe uh, smoother or more more uh, rapid or stronger acceleration so you will need to you know dial the thruster power down for most of the flight and then when you need it you know all the way to the top and you know get me out of here blackout or not um i think it should remain personally i think it should remain mm. um i mean i know why shy doesn't like it because he um so shy in chat we've ha we have quite a few uh interesting people in chat actually um, Shive is the fastest racer in the game at the moment. He is. Um, yes. Consistently. And of mm -hmm. course, so in, because of that, he's always pushing his sh the ships to the limit. And uh, always, you know, like, uh, totally, you know, because of that, it's going to affect him a whole lot more than it affects you and me, which mm -hmm. is why he's asking. But the thing, the thing the is, game, I've so. actually raced in real life. Okay. So I know what's that like. I mm. don't know if Shive has. Um, I've I haven't actually raced uh, on the edge of human um, uh, endurance when mm. it comes to G forces, but there are several racing um, categories uh, that do. For instance, Formula One mm -hmm. or on uh, um, Kart or is it IndyCar? In um, I, I think they just keep swapping between names. I don't even know if that's too different. But never mind. There okay. are. Uh, or even uh, Red Bull um, stuff, you know, with the with the acrobatic planes. Mm. Those those things are you know so close to um, um, blacking out all the time that it's it's hilarious and uh, um, and so very very dangerous. Yeah. But um, it wouldn't be the same if um, if it was completely safe. Yeah, I honestly think that it's uh it's it's a good idea to have. I mean, like, should it be better, should it be worse? I think that we'll have to wait until the new flight model comes out. But I feel mm -hmm. like because we have it in, it kind of like um it allows them to uh, to to have the ships to be a lot more aggressive, a lot more um I guess well agile, all that kind of stuff. And then you can then use the player and their skill as a kind of way to prevent them from, you know, going over the edge and mm. crashing the ship. It, it, it prevents them from, well, it allows you to have ships that can do some crazy things, but with limitations. And it allows people to, um, like, I guess, not kind of like abuse the system and uh, do too crazy a thing to, me to make, I guess, dogfighting and stuff boring. So it all kind of I ties think, in together. I think to mitigate it, 
potentially could be to, um, an upgrade to... Okay, I suppose this could only work with ships with functioning interiors, but mm -hmm. maybe it could be adapted to ships without them. Uh, changing the um, artificial gravity generator to okay. be... Um, I think, again, this is me remembering some obscure um, detail from an ATV or a lore post, you know, years ago. Mm. Um, the gr the reason why a gravity generator isn't very good at fighting G-forces is because it's very slow at changing directions into which the gravity um should point mm -hmm. um so you can't really use that as a sort of um, inertial dampener as it is in star trek for instance like you pitch you know down so all of a sudden gravity starts pu pushing upwards but at the same time the gravity generator ramps down even further so it cancels it out right and therefore you don't black out it would be a possibility maybe racing ships could have us um or you know top tier dogfighters could have something like that in them mm -hmm. but again how viable would it be how fast could it react um to supplement or fight the g-forces experienced from just moving the ship Right. I mean, like, it, it's interesting as a component system. I mean, like, if they wanted to add something like that, I mean, another thing they could just do, I mean, right now you can get like a, you know, compression flight suit or whatever that helps you with that. Perhaps sure. with the game, yeah. you could just get different gear that um, helped you be a little bit more resistant to G-forces and stuff. Or uh, And I think, could... I think I actually bumped into Chris Smith at one of these events and I asked him about that and he confirmed that... Um, I think it was Cream Smith, may, may have been somebody else. They mm -hmm. confirmed that uh, there will be such a thing as racing um, undersuits. That's cool. But he didn't mention that the racing undersuits will actually have a purpose. But considering that it is CIG and in the future they wanted <laughs> to make sure that uh, you don't, you can't use certain things with suits on or even with helmets on. Well, now that now that you mention it, he, mm. he just he it wasn't specifically mentioned that there will be undersuits. Um, crafted to fight g-forces specifically oh, it could be okay. just it could be just right uh undersuits with the racing logos on it yeah 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 <laughs> yeah so uh he confirmed but he also did not confirm <laughs> so, yeah. it's also been years i don't know um a lot of these questions are actually quite good questions for um, calling all devs, but I suppose that's going to have to wait until maybe mid-January or late January until this goes back. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there's mm -hmm. going to be a huge backlog of questions because of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Uh, have do, do we some, some have another brigading. question? We do have one final question. Again, guys, if you want to ask any questions, they can be Star Citizen related. We've uh, we've kind of covered the, the main topic already, which is the Carrick. Mm. But now we're just hanging the out with Carrick. chat. Um, Not just the Carrick, but the salt that the Carrick brought. <laughs> I need to find that meme again. I want to just like uh, leave it front and center there. Nah, nah. No. Uh, okay. No. If okay. You, well, if you, but if you're doing that, I'll I suppose I'll go and look for the question. Uh, Tsukikizo asks, mm -hmm. "Worst glitch you faced." The worst glitch you've faced. Oh, there have been so many. I mean, I know that there are like uh, that there are glitches around the place that like uh, other people have suffered, and I've seen on Reddit, and I'd be like, ha ha. But uh, personally, they haven't really affected me all that much, apart from, of course, the pictures you saw of the um, of the reclaimer flipped and then the hanger mm. and then chewing it up. <laughs> well, there's or falling through the world. Yeah, there's 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 glitches where you know they're one offs um and you you and they're not very frustrating mm -hmm. the the worst glitch right now for me is the inconsistency of missions and how oh, yeah. they sometimes just you know the next waypoint doesn't show up or it shows up in the middle of the freaking ground yeah. where you can't uh, drop it off um it's a very frustrating bug because it breaks a very large gameplay loop. So um, yep. if the question is just about what's the flat out worst glitch, 
then it has to be the mission system being so broken at the moment. But that that's gonna be changed. But if it's like you know most entertaining, most random glitch and stuff, there was this really cool uh, graphic glitch where um, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but it affected like the polygons and stuff on ships and stuff. So all of you could be playing, and all of a sudden, like you would just notice that a polygon on a uh, on a rock turns into a giant triangle, like just you know this big. And then you're like, eh, whatever. And then like you, you, you keep doing whatever you're doing. And then like you look over your shoulder and then like uh, it's like half of the landscape is turned into triangles. <laughs> and so you get oh, in your yeah. ship and you take off and then your ship starts to then get corrupted and turn into triangles. And uh, yeah, it was like I, a I remember polygonitis that or poly, poly, polygonorrhea. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't want that one. Oh, man. There, was, there was a glitch. Um, there, it was a one-off that I experienced and that was quite scary, actually. Because, uh, first off, the game froze for me, which happens all the time. Um, I tried to bring out the test, tab out. First, I tried Tried to tab out, nothing happened. Tried to bring out a task manager, nothing happened. Tried to bring up a control or delete um, menu and go to task manager from there. It showed me the options, but when I hit task manager, both of my screens just turned black. And the RGB lighting in my case went white, which means that the system just hung up badly. Right. Um, I did a hard reboot, and it would just loop and loop and loop and that was star citizen that's causing it that well it it wouldn't even um validate my ram Oof. how did you fix yeah. it um i eventually it fixed itself when i pulled the ram out uh i ran for a uh, i pulled half of the ram out uh, and then it managed to boot up properly. Um, it first, of course, had to do the whole Windows uh, recovery thing and, you know, attempting to fix and then fail to fix and whatever. So it booted up eventually, but it, I was only running on half of the RAM. I, ha I have a uh, motherboard that has um, um, diagnostic lights on it. It mm -hmm. has one next to the CPU, to the RAM, and to the GPU. And it um, turns uh, those on when it's checking, and then if it's if it's okay, it, if it, if it's okay, it turns off again and and goes to the next uh, system. It would just shine for RAM, which means there's something wrong with my RAM. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, oh, that's not even the worst of it, um, because um, but then I pulled half of the RAM out. It booted, but then it gave me a no boot device error. Um, so I went into BIOS and there was, n my hard drives were just gone. All the SSDs, all the hard drives were not present in the, in, uh, detected by the system at all. So unplug those, plug the back in. I completely shut off the computer and, uh, unpowered off the power supply just so all the, um, potential, uh, energy would be drained. Mm -hmm. And... Still nothing. Eventually had to reflash the BIOS. And then I then I finally got uh, access to my hard drives again. And I put the RAM back in and it's been fine since. But that was like two, three hours of frantic troubleshooting and wondering, holy shit, what is wrong with my computer? So that wasn't And Star it Citizen's caused by it. Star Citizen freeze up, yeah. It was caused by Star Citizen freezing. Yes. Right. Okay. Oof. Don't. Don't. I mean, it's too late now. Um, be don't careful play out Star there, Citizen guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, so Shive says. Uh, so uh, not to beat a dead carrick, but on on the topic of landing gear, <laughs> um, have you considered? how it would affect landing on different planet uh, terrain, how different height landing gear would make landing on new places possible where the uh, cleared space is sparse. Um, well, I mean, honestly, you mean like what, not being able to land in things like uh, a forest, for instance, because like, uh, the, you know, you don't have the character's old stilts Or just, anymore. you know, very undulating terrain. You need to find like a spot that it's flat um so you can you know land all of your landing gears 
at the same sort of level and then drop the cargo ramp. Yeah, that actually happens now. Like every once in a while, I land my Avenger um, somewhere on Yella where the ramp just doesn't reach the ground. Yeah, and then I, I can back get back in my ship. <laughs> in general, I think that uh, with Star Citizen and its ships, they should probably think about making it so that. Um, the ramps and the landing gears and stuff kind of like move or extend uh, more eccentrically than they already do. Mm-hmm. So like instead of just making it so the ramp just goes and stops like this, they should make it so that it ray traces and it keeps going until it or touches something. Has an, or or they, some of them like have a, a piece that extends right from inside. Like the ramp is thick and it has another piece inside it that pulls out the Avengers yeah. like that. Uh, yeah. The Vanguards like that. Um, so maybe they should just enable yeah ray tracing there so it extends all the way down to the ground and touches you know the ground so you don't have any issues with that but i'm gonna say to shive he didn't think this through the old carrick had the landing gears much further apart so you would actually end up needing much larger cleared out area to land properly and flat with the new one, with the landing gears much closer together, sure, there's maybe um, a greater chance of toppling over because um, of the overhangs on the left and right. Uh, um, before, there were no overhangs on the left and right because the side landing gears were right at the edges. But um, now you don't need such a big area. And this was the, one of the reasons why they, they also shortened it. Mm. 125 meters is the largest ship that can fit on a large landing pad. Mm. I mean, he's he's using the Carrick as an example there. Uh, yes, I, I don't think he's. Yeah, we're not specifically saying that you are asking about the Carrick. Um, but yeah, um, that's a good question though. And uh, mm, yeah, guess, sure. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll the more splayed out that. landing gear is, the more stable it is. But the more splayed out landing gear is, the larger the area you need to find to be able to land. Mm. Uh, we got another question coming from Domineer who asks, uh, what do you think has the potential of making CIG more money in the long run? Squadron 42 with its multiple games and all-star cast, or the MMO with its current ships and uh, future UEC sales? It's always going to be the MMO. Always going to yeah. be the MMO. Like, um, Squadron 42 is going to be really big to get the name of Star Citizen and CIG out there as, um, you know, Chris is like, Magnum Opus is like, his. that's his contribution to video games and all that kind of stuff um well his latest one anyway um (laughs) and uh yeah all that stuff and it's going to drive immediate sales but the same way that uh uh, the, the mobile industry is the biggest one for gaming is the same way that uh, with the is MMOs. It though? Is it? Yes. I, yes. I, th- by, I thought, I thought, I thought MOBAs were the biggest one. No, m- mobiles. Um, no, mobile no, mo- MOBAs. MOBAs. No, I, I know. I'm saying that mobile gaming has a much is greater... Is it bigger? Pro- mm. They make more money. Well, I suppose with all... Because everything is a microtransaction in mobile exactly. games. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They make, you know, hand over fist like millions a month. Like all these like really naff looking programs you wouldn't bat an eye at twice. Like... Uh, you know, mm-hmm. if you if you want to make a quick buck, you should learn how to code <laughs> and code like for Apple and make app uh, like just or Android, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's 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 mad, but uh, because of that, I feel like Star Citizen. I mean, you, you've seen already Star Citizen has pretty much on its own, like uh, well, without Squadron Forty Two, already raised two hundred million dollars, you know, worth of funding. Um, mm-hmm. I wonder what sort of percentage of that is the fifteen dollars Squadron Forty Two pledges. Um, it's not. It's not going to be insignificant. It's not going to be insignificant, but it's not going to be massive either. There's going to be more Auroras True. out there than Squadron Forty Two packages. Mm, for now, yeah. Well, yeah. I have one. You have mm. one, definitely. Yeah. For it now, it would the... be stupid to not get one at this point. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. But uh, yeah, because because of uh, because of the way that uh, Star Citizen works, because of the way MMOs work, and the fact that uh, you know, like aftermarket, there's always all these things you can get, and because of the fact that uh, even when Star Citizen is out, they can keep releasing different um, concept sales and stuff. They will be able to drive more sales for the game 
much easier than stuff. Did they Nintendo not say that ships will not be sold for money? They after... never mentioned that about concepts, though. I see. All right. Hmm. I mean, that's not to say that they you know, they they won't they won't, but it, it's not to mm. say that they they will either. Mm hmm. Hmm. I mean, okay. So, yeah. do 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 you think that they will? Do you think that they should? <laughs> I th I think. I think a lot of people are going to be very salty that they sort of went out on a technicality and still are still are selling concept ships mm. after the game's released, even though they said they would not be charging for ships. Sure. Uh, sure. I don't. I wouldn't. I. I would prefer for them not to charge anything for ships afterwards. Mm. Yeah. Um, skins. Sure. Uh, a thing that I suggested, which was um, name registrations for ships. Okay, I could see that. For like, sure. if you want, if you want a unique name, like a properly unique name, you could register it. Okay. Um, or maybe even you know, maybe maybe that one would be free. But if you want it to be something special, like your own designed graphic to be put on on the ship, that would you would have to pay for. That mm. would be vetted and then put into the game by a. Uh, developer i could see an in-game kind of like uh character or something or location being there for that you know purpose you made an interesting point actually like it could be that you could name your ship whatever you want but you could also make that ship's name unique and so people would have to like you know go the root of xx underscore Darge's ship xx underscore that kind of thing um if oh you paid yeah money that's, that's going to be so popular like exclusivity rice you know that kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, yeah but yeah. uh, and then, of course, currency will be uh, sold, uh, which is, you know, just a standard MMO practice. Mm. Um, as far as um, ship sales um, go, as far as we know in the future and that kind of thing, I mean, like uh, this IAE, um, uh, like a holiday, I say holiday, sorry, um, anniversary sale, they sold um, starter packs ranging from the Aurora and Mustang all the way up to, I believe, was it a Constellation? So um, that that has always kind of been their range, I guess, for as far as ship sales go. And it'll probably remain that way up until, um, well, I guess they change it. But for now, that's what we can see or speculate. Mm. Um, I think the, the when the game is released, um, they, the revenue um, uh, will shift much more towards Squadron 42. But I still think the... Um, Star Citizen will be the bigger driving force just because uh, they will they know they are aware of this and they will start pumping out skins and uh what's what's the term um cosmetics yeah no yeah um skins and cosmetics most definitely are are, are going to be a big thing for Star Citizen they've already they've been selling skins for years and uh only one ship has been able to actually uh, change skins, and that's the Aurora. So, um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be part of the um, part of uh, mm. of their thing. Mm, I'm, sure. I'm just I'm just wondering whether that should be a thing, uh, because there's ships cos ship cosmetics mm -hmm. and there's person cosmetics. Like you can just go somewhere and buy um, a piece of clothing. Well, I mean, we we, al we already know, -game, and it's right. already been yeah, but we already know. And it's already been done that you can go to the pledge store right now and get ship skins and also clothes. You can get the so, uh, the subscriber gear. So sure, so the sort sort of uh, limited runs yeah. that you can't get in a shop. Yeah, it's already begun. Basically, mm. is what I'm saying. So all they have to do uh, is yeah. just work. You know, work from mm. that. I suppose it was inevitable. Yeah. Yeah. It's already begun. So, um, yeah. Uh, again, guys, if you have any questions, please, by all means, uh, mm. do uh, preface it with with question in chat, and uh, and we'll right. get to it. Um, but I think we've but covered if that's most we've covered much most yeah. most of it, and it's and we are actually quite you know it's been almost an hour and a half that we've been twaddling on about various things. Oh, so. shucks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my throat is feeling it. And I'm the one who's normally uh, pretty touchy about time as well, so... Um... <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> um... like, you don't know what Myers says to me after these streams, please help. Um, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah. I guess we'll have to see what they offer with the three hundred i update. Mm. Um, that is uh, uh, the new uh, when the three hundred i rework launches. It's going to launch with a sort of um, configurator. Oh, um, dude, cannot wait. So um, yeah, I just I just hope I just hope they don't go the path of your regular car manufacturer ship configurator where you have a couple of. Uh, paint jobs that are watches, yeah, that, that are fine, that are no, no, they they, they are free. Mm-hmm. But then if you want something special, you pay through the nose. Oh, I think that's exactly what they're gonna do. <laughs> I think. They- <laughs> oh man, and and Origin, and Origin is just a, the exact perfect manufacturer to go with something like the exclusive line. Oh yeah, oh where yeah, where you can you can change. <sighs> Dude, I mean, this is this is why Elite Dangerous is still afloat. This is exactly what they do, you know? They could easily, easily make it free, but they could also easily just make it not and make mm-hmm. a lot of money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, a lot of people would be really pissed if they did, but it'd be very easy for them to do so, and they would make a yep. lot of money, which, you know, devil's advocate here would help fund development. So, I mean, like... Uh, yep. Mm. Like you don't have to go, you don't have to buy, you know, the, oh, there was, there was such a great concept that I saw of the Santo Chiai with a, uh, oh yeah, um, the paint, paint flip. Mm. Yeah, it was a pearlescent, uh, green and purple, uh, like, like a scarab or um, beetle, um, yeah. sort of, uh, paint job to it. It was so good. Call it what it is. And it's covenant so fits. Skin, yeah. It was a Covenant yeah. paint skin. It's purple and green. It looks like a Covenant ghost sure, or something. Sure, but Need for Speed 2 Underground was out before Covenant had a purple and green flip paint thing. The Covenant was an inside job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, yeah. Shall we wrap it up? Um. Okay, cool. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been the Fort Alley Frontier Season 6 Episode 2. Well, what's the title of this yep. podcast, uh, today's podcast? It's called um, Carrick Expectations Carrick. versus Reality. Thank you all so much for watching. I've been Meyer, and uh, over there has uh, been the one and only Mr. Dianator. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Or is it in Bye. the verse? I messed up. Whatever. Just fucking hit the button, man. Uh- <laughs>